Hi everyone, it's Liz with Real Girl Beauty and I have an e.l.f. review today. I had somebody request for me to start reviewing e.l.f. products, which I have used quite a few, um, but I have never reviewed them. I'm testing out some stuff right now so I can give you my opinion on it. But this one I've tested out a few times and I don't like it. It is the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD powder and the color I got was clear. It has actual, all of the e.l.f. products have decent sized mirrors. And then it's this white pressed powder. It comes with a sponge, which is kind of a wimpy thing and I wouldn't really use it either. Anyway, I hold on to like everything, all the applicator stuff comes with. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. I tested this out a few times. I kind of like the first time I tried it and I didn't like it, I felt like I needed to give it a second chance before I could really come on and do the review and say definitively, no, I don't like it. I've used HD powders before. Um, I've used them mostly as a loose powder, which I like. And I've used both the Makeup Forever, which is kind of like the gold standard one. And I also, I don't know when, but I would gotten a different one from a different brand that was a much less expensive brand in an Ipsy bag at one point. And that one I liked as well. There's something about the fact that this one, that this one is pressed. I think that's part of the problem. Using a brush to get it out, it is so just chalky. It's just so chalky. I can't even find another way to describe it. What I noticed was I was testing it out and I was on film. On film, my skin looked really nice, even with this on. However, flash photography, forget it. It, it, it just flashed back like crazy. And in person, you could see it sitting on top of my skin. Like you could see that I was wearing this white powder on my face. No, absolutely not. I don't, I, no. <laughs> it was very matte, very, very, very matte. And I'm super pale, so you would think like, well, that color wouldn't be a big deal for you because you're so pale, so white on top of your skin isn't a very good deal. And you're right, color-wise, not a big deal, but the fact that you can see it on your skin, it's just an unpleasant product. It's too chalky. It's, it's It doesn't blend. It doesn't, like, go... Like, the ones that I've used before, which I think one of the two that I've used and liked was City Color of all the brands. You would think that one would be the worst, and I didn't hate that one. I thought that one was actually pretty good. Um, and that's a loose powder as well. This was just so just like I said, chalky, and then it just sits. So if you have even a slightly darker skin tone than I do, this is gonna be awful in real life, worse in pictures, and if you're videoing yourself, it might be decent. Um, but who wants to wear a product that only looks good on camera? Isn't the goal to look good in real life? You know, that's that's kind of what I look at products for, is I want to look good in real life. I want to look good in real life. Just give me a product that looks makes me look good in real life. And this doesn't do it. I would either save up and or try to get a sample of the Makeup Forever. That one is excellent. I think if you're looking for an HD, that's still, again, the gold standard. It's so finely milled. It's wonderful texture. It really melts into your skin. I think all of the HD powders with cameras is a problem. If you've never done that before, uh, Google celebrity photo makeup flashback. It's quite interesting. You can literally go celebrity by celebrity and look at the ones who wore an HD powder on their face and then were in pictures and you can see it sitting on their skin. But that's what that's like all the time with this in real life. Like there's just this powder sitting on your skin. Save your money. Don't get the pressed one. If you want me to try the loose one and give you my definitive opinion, leave it down in the comments and let me know. But I would say that if you're going to try something, try the loose before you try the pressed. I think it's a combination of just the milling process with this was not fine enough. And then when you press it down, it's, it's just a mess. It's a mess. I hope this video helped you avoid a product that you might have considered purchasing. Um, let me know again if you want me to try the loose one and see if it does the same thing 
that this does, uh, let me know down in the comments. And I will be back with more e.l.f. products. I bought a few to review, and I will let you know what I think about them. If you haven't done so, please subscribe below for more of my videos so you can get notices. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I will talk to you soon with more videos. Have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching.